Hello party people! Today I'm gonna be sharing with you what is in my kids' Easter baskets. Can you believe Easter is this weekend? It snuck up on me. Does it sneak up on you? I feel like I've been worried about so many other things and then I thought, oh my gosh, next weekend is Easter. So I'm gonna start off by sharing with you kind of the treats, um, stuff I'm gonna fill the eggs with and stuff I will be dispersing through all of their baskets and then I'll get to the individual baskets. It's just a few things. Okay, hold up. I realized I didn't tell you how old my kids are or how many I have. I have four kids. Their ages are, oh, this is a test. Pop quiz. Four months. Three, six, nine. Nailed it. A, A plus. Okay, we can resume. First off, I found these lint chocolate bunnies and friends. Look at all those friends in there. There's bunnies, there's ducks, there may be lambs, there may be, I think umbrellas, carrots, something like that. I think they're all hanging out right there. I got this at Costco for a screaming deal, so I couldn't pass it up. Like a pack of five of these guys at Target is like $6, and I paid like Ah, I don't know somewhere around 11 or something. I forgot but it was a good deal and lint chocolate is the best Speaking of the best Cadbury stinking eggs. I'm not gonna lie. I almost forgot about these Speaking of something I forgot about I had these tucked away in my secret hiding spot <laughs> I've already cracked into these seriously no excuses. I'm gaining that quarantine 15. There's just no way around it Reese's eggs the best Primo, I got 60 of them. You better believe I'm not putting 60 in all of their baskets or eggs. Definitely keeping some for mom and dad because they're the best, am I right? Okay, also speaking of the best, Cadbury mini eggs. Guys, I'm not sure I've ever had one of these. Milk chocolate with a crisp sugar shell. Everyone is raving about these, so I thought I might as well give in and give my kids some. I'm sure they'll love them because they're sugar and chocolate. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna like them too. And you gotta tell me, when you were a kid, what did you get mostly in your Easter baskets, if you got anything? I remember getting a basket about this big, filled with chocolate, and that would last me until Halloween. I'm not even joking. I would like nibble on it every day. <laughs> until my parents were like, Kim, this is getting ridiculous. Chocolate's old and crusty. Another fan favorite, Peeps. But I got a little fancy this year. I went for the party cake peeps and the watermelon, sour watermelon peeps. Blech. I'm not a peep fan. Oh my gosh. Okay, onto the egg fillers. I saw these. Could not pass these guys up. Are you kidding me? Hazelnut spread. I'm sorry, I can't even wait until Easter. I can't wait. You can't wait either. I need to let you know if they taste good. Oh my gosh, they're pastel colors. Yep, yep. It tastes like the cheap version of Nutella. <laughs> and then poured into an M&M. But they are on the thicker side, so there's a lot of filling in there. I thought I would like them more than I do. If I had to choose between those M&Ms and the Reese's, Reese's wins. Do you say Reese's or Reese's? Whatever, tomato, tomato. A rose by any other name. Also got some jelly beans, Starburst jelly beans, the best. And then I snatched up one of these spritz mini toys just to fill up the eggs because I just don't want all my eggs filled with chocolate. You know what I mean? And then I found these signs that I had from last year. I think I got them at the Dollar Tree and they're just cute little signs for like the egg hunt and I thought I would use those and I saw these. They are egg stencils for when you're dying and coloring eggs. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Okay, on to the baskets. First thing I want to say about the baskets, I've been watching a few of these videos. Dang, it's getting hot. It's actually really nice outside today. We're having a cold front, <laughs> but I'm still hot. Okay, what I wanted to ask you about Easter baskets, what are you putting inside of yours? Let me know. Also, I feel like I've watched a few of these videos and I feel like it's Christmas 2.0. A lot of people are putting like so many things in their Easter baskets. I see gift cards for like 25 bucks. I'm like, that is my limit per basket. Even 25 bucks, I'm like, this is crazy. It's just crazy. I even think what I gave my kids is an abundance. So you guys let me know if you went overboard as well, if, you, if, if this is like the new normal and I'm just not aware of it. I don't know, I feel like growing up, you got a handful of chocolate or a chocolate bunny. Oh, speaking of chocolate bunnies, I always got the big ears, like the 24 inch tall. Why, why did I need all of that chocolate? I didn't. And then I was always envious of my friends who got like one toy or like a board game for all the whole family, you know? So I don't know if that's consumerism taking over 
and telling us we need to give our kids more, but we don't. We don't need, but I, especially during this time, I feel like it's okay to break the rules a little bit because, because we're all stuck at home and like giving our kids things to do, activities to keep them busy is like just a little exception, you know? Okay, we're gonna jump into the baskets. All right, whose basket should I do first? Let's do the baby, she has the least amount of things. Okay, I got these things from Amazon, I'll link them below. It's just a little chew toy. <laughs> Can I call this a chew toy? <laughs> it's a little teething ring, what is that? A squirrel and then a silicone. It's all silicone and I like that. And then I got her the sweetest bathing suit. Like, are you kidding me right now? Lemons? This is so darling. She has not been in the pool yet. I got a nine month even though she's all, she'll be, she won't even be four months old. Oh my gosh, I know nothing. She is four months old, but she won't be five months. <laughs> Anyway, I always size up on the bathing suits. I think they run small. Also got her a ton of hair bows. These are just darling. I mean, what do you get a four month old? We don't know, but I did find this book. It is the coolest. It's called an indestructible. So it's chew proof, rip proof, non-toxic, and 100% washable, AKA the coolest book alive. If you've ever had kids before, you know how destructive they can be. So I'll just give you a sneak peek of the literary genius you may expect to see here. All right, there's more words on the back page than in the entire book. So that's all that she's getting. Cute little basket from Target, moving on. To Sweet Eleanor. By the way, one thing I will mention, I don't do Easter grass. I put tissue paper at the bottom of the baskets because Lord knows I do not want to pick up all that stringy Easter grass all over my house. If you have older kids, that's cool. And I think they even sell edible grass now, but okay. Uh, this is for Eleanor. She is through, how old is she? Six years old. <laughs> so of course I got her a bathing suit as well. I got all my kids bathing suits. It's just what we did this year. This one is like metallic unicorns and it says unicorns are real. And then for the bigger kids, we got them all a little bunny. This is like a cheapo Russell Strofer. It costs like two bucks, but they're definitely not gonna care. I mean, I think the big ear bunny is like Palmer. And I certainly didn't care the quality of chocolate when I was a youngster. I also got a cute little pack of socks. I got these from the Dollar Tree. Little rainbows on one side and then unicorns on the second pair. I found this garden stone at the Target dollar spot way back when and I've been saving it for a rainy day. Oh, I should also mention uh, many of these things. I didn't go shopping exclusively for their Easter basket. I went in my board bin. I just keep a bin of random stuff for when my kids are bored and say, I'm bored. And so I say, okay, let me pick something out of the board bin. Anyway, so a lot of this stuff was in there <laughs> and we just made it work. So I thought this stepping stone would be cool for her to decorate. I also ordered a kit off of Amazon. It was a little bicycle kit. And so it came with a little bell, these handlebar, fluffers, I don't know what these are called, streamers for your handlebar, and then the cool, they glow in the dark, and they're butterfly, and you put them on like your bicycle wheels. I just thought, uh, this just brought me back to the 90s when I had my bicycle. I also threw a little Annie's, oh, that's it too. Where is it? I don't know, I have a box, a big box of these. How can it be hiding in this? Here it is, I have a box of these Annie's gummies that will also be um, shoving into Easter eggs as well, but I just threw one in their baskets because why not? I also got a pack of these for Christmas to hand out to some family members. I was making little goodie bags. Um, it's just an EOS lip balm and this one's purple. So I thought, man, eh, that's festive and spring-like. So I threw it in there. The kid's like, you know, everyone needs chapstick. And then glittery glue. I got this from the Target dollar spot as well. And it was a dollar. Uh, speaking of something that wasn't a dollar at the dollar spot, these scented gel pens. There's 10 in here. And these were uh, rocking $3. I'm getting over it. And then some butterfly stickers. I also, in all the bigger kids, I threw in like a blank book so they could, you know, create a book, draw something, you know what I mean? Use their brains, creativity skills, and all that good stuff. Okay, let's do Wentworth next. He is my three-year-old, and of course, we got him a swimsuit as well. I love this print. It looks kind of vintage, and then the little boat right there. I just thought that was darling. We got that from Target. Also got the this from Target. Just a cute little paint-your-own window ornament. 
Oh, there's a couple in there, a carrot and a bunny, and then a stepping stone for him as well. This was $5 from the Target dollar spot. I don't think I mentioned the price before, and I doubt, I don't even know if they have it anymore. I'll be excited to see the summer stuff at the Target dollar spot when those come out because I always get a bunch of pool toys. Oh my gosh, speaking of pool toys, slash also want to mention who knows when we'll be able to go shopping freely again. <laughs> okay, pool toys. I ordered a pool toy for Wentworth. It will be his gift. Really, it will be for everyone, and I'll throw it up on the screen. It's like a basketball hoop for the pool. How cool is that? He, I also gave him some gummies. And then, these guys, happy to see you. Hi there. Guess where I got these? Oh, no big deal, just the Dollar Tree. Are you kidding? They're so cool. Obviously, I took them out of the package. Uh, Bo Peep, Buzz, Woody, what's his name? Ryan, freaking multi-millionaire. And then, Forky over there. So he'll be excited to play with those. I also found these Toy Story Buzz Lightyear socks at the Dollar Tree as well. This magnifying glass I got from the Target Dollar Spot a while ago. Uh, a chocolate bunny for him as well. And then a blank book. Well, that was quick. Moving right along to Avelina's basket. Her big thing, uh, I got a little set here. I don't think it came in a set, actually. Got these watercolors. I got them from Amazon. I forgot how much they were, but I'll link them below. Uh, they weren't too expensive, and it comes with two little brushes there. And then I also got this pad for her. It's a watercolor paper pad, and it's enormous. It's 11 by 14, which I, I didn't think I ordered one this big, but apparently I did. And then over here from the Target Dollar Spot, got her some double-sided marker and highlighters. Six of them for, oh, $3. Oh wait, wanna see her cute bathing suit? Oh, and this is my nine-year-old. Oh, I'm so organized, you guys. Okay, here is her bathing suit. It's a cute little peekaboo action on the side there. We're getting a little risky at nine years old, I'll tell you what. Some gummies for her, chocolate bunny, the book, we've seen it all before. Some socks, ooh, with the dog on it, with the hair bow even, and then the other side just has hearts. I don't think those were from Valentine's Day, but I could be wrong. And then a uh, dollar... Dollar Tree for these socks, and then an EOS lip balm, a pink one this time. I wanna say it's like a Sherbert. I can't read that on the bottom, are you kidding me? So that is for Avelina, my nine-year-old. Cool, beans. And that is it, that's all that they're getting in their Easter baskets. Are they gonna be excited? Are they going to be disappointed? They, if they're disappointed, they're grounded. <laughs> Go in your room. If they're disappointed, mom gets all their candy. Just saying. They won't be, they're good kids. Uh, I will add that a couple years ago, I did Easter baskets in rain boots, made it super fun and interesting, you know, mix things up a little bit. And then last year, I think they had them in umbrellas. Like I just put all their crap in umbrellas instead of actual baskets, which is kind of why Wentworth doesn't really have a basket. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, have we not ever given him a basket before? But last year we did the umbrella and then the rain boots the year before and the year before that he just had a little one because he was like a year old or maybe less, I don't know. Math is hard. Okay, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to uh, watch those previous Easter basket videos, I'll link them below. Are they relevant? I don't know. Do you like watching these kinds of videos? Maybe you do, so I'll link them for you. If you enjoyed hanging out with me, I hope you did, uh, subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Now for the thumbnail. Always the fun part. Pretend I have my life together and put on a cardigan with my hair that is still wet from my shower this morning. At least I showered today, you know? All right, which baskets can I hold up? I'll seek you back. How am I gonna hold four baskets? I shouldn't hold four baskets. I'm gonna try. Er right, er right, er right, er right, er right, er right, er right. This is like the opposite of clickbait right here. Okay, how are we gonna do this? All right, can she do it? Can she do it? Oh, it's a little things in life. Okay, calm down. Okay, I think that deserves a Reese's. What do you think? So good. This is the best thing ever made. Next to Nutella. Next to the Toot Sweet Machine from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I saw that in real life.